Hey guys, Matt here. Quick little video. As you can tell by the title, we're going to be talking about this. This is the Magpul rear flip-up sight. This is a Gen 2. Um, had this for about a year and a half, used it on this rifle, and used it on the AR I had before this. Um, it is a durable, rugged, reliable sight. Holds zero fantastically. Does not come loose. Um, low profile, good looking sight. I love uh, how you engage the uh, flip up function on this. You've got the two paddles on the side that you can hit with your thumb. You've got the front paddle here that you can press either way. Boom, pops right up. You've got dual apertures here. You've got the uh, smaller of the two apertures, which is what I usually run. And you flip the front part down right there. And of course, you've got the larger of the two apertures there. Great sight, looks good, holds well. Uh, great at holding zero. Just everything about it in general is good. There is one thing that I want to say about this sight though, and that is on this particular one, and I do not know if it's an issue with all of these Magpul sights because this is the only one I've ever owned, or if I just got a little bit of a lemon, and that is that to really get this thing to be dead on accurate with the front sight post and to co-witness with my, my optic here, I had to adjust the windage almost all the way over to this last line right here. I mean, it was th this aperture was all the way over here. And it was just annoying. Now, once I did that, this thing was dead on accurate. It held zero. I had no issues with it. But that was just a little bit of an, an annoyance to me that I had to do that. I had to make that just because I've used rear sights before. And I've never had a rifle or anything really that I had to make that big of an adjustment for windage uh, to get it to be accurate. So, you know, I don't know if it's just the design or if it's just that I got a little bit of a lemon. Um, you know, either way, like I said, once I adjusted it, it did fine. I didn't have any issues with it, but it was enough of an annoyance to me that I did finally take it off and I replaced it with another sight. And this is a GI Issue Matek, um, which uh, these things run about 50 to 55 bucks. Uh, this GI Issue Matek uh, it runs in the 60 to 70 dollar range, um, and it is an actual, you know, it is a military issue rear backup flip up sight. Um, and so that's something you want to take into consideration. Um, you know, I, I don't want to say these are bad sites because I don't think they are bad sites. And as you can tell by my rifle, I love Magpul. Magpul is a great company. I love their products. Not only that, they support the Second Amendment. They support our right to keep and bear arms. And, you know, God bless them for that. Um, so I don't want to put down any one of their products. But I do, at the same time, I want to be honest and, and let you know I did have an issue with this. Does that mean I won't recommend these? No, not at all. If you've got 50, 55 bucks to spend on a rear sight, go get one of these. If you've got 60 to 70 bucks to spend on a rear sight, you can probably get something a little better like this. Um, that doesn't make this a bad sight. That makes it a great sight that I had one small little issue with, but that in the end did not affect the function of the sight with the rifle. So all in all, that's it. Um, that's kind of my opinion on it. Um, do, I, do I wholeheartedly recommend it? No, because for a little bit more money, you can get better sights. But if you're dead set on getting one of these, you like the looks, you like the style, you like it, it does work. It holds zero, it's rugged, it's reliable, and, and when you get it adjusted right, it is dead on accurate. So I really can't say much more about it than that. So anyway, guys, as usual, I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, questions or comments, leave them down below, and we will talk to you later. Thanks.